All right, so I just recorded a, a good take of this, but there was no audio for the video, so we're going to redo this. Um, I recently got a new graphics card, the 7900 XT. Uh, I had a 2080 Super beforehand. I ran DDU and I uninstalled the, the graphics drivers. Um, I'm having this issue where a couple of things will occur. So right here is the video encoder, uh, the video encode engine specifically. Um, oh, look, there's different... I didn't know there were different uh, things you could select here. Um, anyways, uh, what's been happening is um, as I'm, you know, doing my thing, um, sometimes YouTube videos will stutter. Um, and I want to show you that part. Um, but it's also when I stream, um, the I, I get encoding overloads constantly. And uh, they don't last long, but the, the frames, the FPS uh, drops and the, the rendering lag there's a pure example. <laughs> um, yeah, that happens, but like a lot more than now. Um, yeah, and you can see right here the spike of when it occurred and then it jumped up and kind of stabilized a bit. So um, yeah, let's see if we can show. Uh, this happens a lot more. Um, by the way, settings that I use, um, it's a lot worse when I stream. Here, I'll put this here for now so you can see the graph. Um, we go into here streaming settings that I use. Um, and then here's my recording settings. Um, there's that part. And then down here is just this. Um, so yeah, I've tried different formats and stuff. It's not as bad when I record videos like this. You know, it only happened once. It probably would have happened like five times in an actual stream. But uh, yeah, I found that using this encoder makes it less of a problem um, compared to CBR, which is what I would normally use in streaming. So um, yeah. Anyways, let me show you the the uh, the video stuttering thing that occurs. Sorry if it's a bit quiet. I'll turn off my microphone and yeah. Disgusting family, awesome offspring. I would like to hold a eulogy today for the death of New Super Mario Brothers. All right, that's over. F yeah. I just kind of want to talk about the history of like how New Super Mario Brothers just fell from grace. How it's kind of like. <laughs> Like, what, what happened here? So we didn't have, like, a new 2D Mario game for, like, over a decade at this point in 2006. Like, the last game that we got was, like, Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy. And then after that, anything we got was pretty much like a spin-off, you know? Like, oh, it kind of had the vibe of a Mario game. It was in the Mario universe, but it wasn't, like, an, an actual 2D Mario game. We are kind of in this weird era where it felt like... 3D just completely took over 2D. 3D was the full evolution of 2D, and it took a while for uh, a lot of people to realize, like, no, that's not the case. 3D is just a completely different type of game, while 2D still has its place. And uh, I feel like the original New Super Mario Brothers did a lot to really make people realize that. And there was that hankering for a 2D Mario game. I mean, on the Game Boy Advance, all we pretty much got were the Mario Advance games, which is what I played back in the day. And I don't know if Nintendo intentionally decided to just not do a 2D Mario on the GBA, and they just wanted to just re-release all of them instead, uh, but uh, I think it worked out because, hey, it saved resources on their end, and also, for kids like me, uh, we got our Mario history lesson without realizing we were being taught stupid ass history. Because those Mario games nice on the Game Boy me, Advance, they just felt like when it happens, you'll also just, see a spike you know, going you downward really here. Them to be, um, oh, from when the is, stuttering is lag thing Nintendo occurs, you also cares? hear it in the like, audio. No, like just, um, but then they, once they, it recovers, it's very games. quick. You were playing Mario there it is. Game Boy. There's no drop here though. But and we got there it is. Super Mario Brothers. Like this was considered. I've noticed like a. Sorry if you couldn't hear it, but uh, if there's more extensions involved uh, in the web browser, it gets worse. Specifically, I have one for ambient light on YouTube, if I can pull up my extensions here. Um, this one here makes it really bad, um, but everything else will make it worse. So, um, yeah, I've also noticed like when I get notifications, you couldn't see that because I'm on an ultra wide screen. But when I get notifications and I'm watching a video, sometimes the FPS in the video drops. Don't know why. But uh, it does. Um, but yeah, it's weird. Just watching a simple video will use up this video codec engine. Whereas on, uh, you know, my 2080 Super, it had like a dedicated place for, um, or it, I don't know, it wasn't this intensive, you know. Um, but yeah, I've had two of these graphics cards. I returned my other one thinking it might have been a, um, 
you know, a unit problem of like my specific graphics card. Um, so I returned it, got another one, and it's still doing it. Um, my AMD driver thing, if I pull up the software here, um, I'm on the latest driver, you know, 23.12.1. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's from November 28th. Uh, so, you know, it's not the, uh, you know, there, there usually is newer, I believe. It's just weird. I have an AMD laptop. I have the G14 2022. None of this occurs. Uh, that has the 6800S and uh, the 6900HS, I think it is, um, or, or something like that. I, I think, I know the GPU in it is a 6800S. So I, I'm pretty sure this is a um, RX, uh, you know, the 7000 series problem, or maybe it's specific with my graphics card. I don't know. Uh, a while ago, I went back to like 23. Dot, I think 11.1. Um, I think that was the driver that I went back to. And uh, it still happened there. Uh, well, the, the YouTube um, stutteriness. Um, so, yeah. There was a time where I um, ran DDU when the graphics card was installed. And then reinstalled the drivers, you know. Um, thinking that might make the problem better. And it made it worse. So on my old GPU, now it seems not as bad as it was before slightly. Um, but yeah, it's really annoying to watch those. Uh, all right, we're back. Um, yeah, it's really annoying to do anything <laughs> to, to stream, record videos, even to, to, you get the point. It's, it's really annoying. I think there's something wrong with the video encoder on this card. I like the video codec engine. Um, because my laptop has none of these problems. It, it does everything. It, it's able to, to stream like this and not have problems. Uh, all of my extensions work fine in Edge. Um, they, they all are turned on and they all work. And there's no problems, no lag like this or anything. Um, so yeah. Also, there's a, a power draw problem that's been occurred. Uh, it might be fixed now, but uh, let's see here. What's our power draw on the GPU? Uh, it's about 90-ish watts. It's really fluctuating, but um, I think that's that's all right. I don't know what it normally is on NVIDIA, but uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I am doing this, so it's probably going to be lower when I stop, but um yeah, that's a bit of the look of the the issues that I have. Any any fixes or something like I I got everything up to date, you know. I don't know what to do. Um I'm pretty sure it's just a, a driver issue that AMD needs to fix. But yeah, it's really annoying though.